Hello everyone, my name is Katarina from Garden Design Tools um, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, what work I do in SketchUp and what work I do in Lumion. Okay, so in Garden Design Tools we have two courses right now, SketchUp Basics for Garden Designers and uh, the Lumion course, Rendering Your Client's Dream Garden. Uh, the Lumion course will be updated until the first week of January of 2019 for the um, to to because of the new uh, software Lumion 9. Okay, so all the course so far was done in Lumion 8, and because you the UI changed quite a bit, um, I've decided to update almost all the course. But uh, I wanted to to show you a little bit. I'm using Live Sync. That's a plugin that you can use in SketchUp. Um, and you can use in Revit as well and in uh, Rhino now with Lumion 9 Pro. Um, but I wanted to show you a little bit what work goes into SketchUp and what work goes into uh, Lumion 9, having this uh, project as an example. Okay, so as you can see, all the structural work it goes into into um, into SketchUp all the the components like the spas for example the swimming pools the rocks you've could i could have done in lumion as well um anything that's really specific in terms of place placing it in the in the in the um, in the project i do do it in sketchup even for example if you have an existing tree that you really want to place accurately in your project i will do just in something like a pole or something in sketchup just to identify the place in inside lumion okay so imagine that in here I, you actually have a tree you know you can do something like okay i'm just going to do it big now just to show you guys but you'll do it smaller of course and um, just to identify the place and you can you would add a, 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 a tree from the library in Lumion, okay? Just to identify the place in inside Lumion. So anything that's accurate, because in Lumion you can't actually take measurements very accurately. You can, you know, they have it now in the in the effects actually. I think. Let me check it out. Not the effects. Lights and utilities. So you have a grid, and you can. This is good for, for example, when you're adding a, a material in Lumion and you want tiles 50 by 50, you can actually add the grid to your to your um, and you have the scale. Okay, so if you want. And you know this is 50 by 50, okay? And you can rotate, of course, the grid. Just, this is just a quick thing to show you guys. But as you can see, all the anything um, very accurately measured in Lumion, it's not for me. It is is not. Um, um, it's not really a good solution, okay? this is more or less 50 by 50 tiles so you have you can when you add a, a, um, a texture okay imagine that i want to add a tile texture in here and you know the tiles are 50 by 50 let me just check if there is a tile Something like this, for example. If you want to some to be more accurate, As you can see here, when you check out the grid, you have quite a bit to go, so you just... But as you can see, it's not a very... Um, it's not an easy way to do it, it's not practical at all. 
to do it like this. But it's just for you to have a sense of more or less, just to be more or less visually accurate in your project. Anyway, with practice and you knowing already the materials, um, you, you will learn anyway to just do this I intuitively, not having to add the, the tile, etc. The grid uh, element, okay? But this is just a, um, a quick way of showing how to how to add a grid to help you out inside Lumion. But as you can see, this is what I, I, I do in SketchUp. So all the architectural elements, structural elements, all the um, really important in terms of placement in your project, I do it in SketchUp. Everything else I'll add in Lumion Log planting furniture people to give it scale etc okay so i just wanted to share with you guys i got back the material i had previously i just wanted to check with you guys um and share this project with you so you'll be f if you've been following me you know this project already because i i had all the time instagram images from this project so I hope you guys like it um, and I hope I see you soon. So the prices, the actual prices of the courses uh, so far, uh, I'm going to keep them for the first um, month of the year. So all the January, the prices are going to be the same like they are now because I've been actually having to still do some updates, etc. So I'm going to keep the same prices until the end of January 2019. So after that, the prices are going to go up. OK, um, and yeah, I hope you give me uh, you. You guys like the, the content so far. So I always try to keep at least one YouTube video um, uh, a week. And uh, I've been doing some videos as well for the, the Facebook group facebook groups so the exclusive for students ones so with some more tips etc okay guys see you soon